children how are you today we are going to learn a very interesting poem the title of the poem is zoo manners unit 5 this poem is written by elin mathias you can Before see starting this poem i want to show you some pictures let's see wow which animal is this name the animal yes chimpanzee this is chimpanzee tiger deer bear elephant where do we see these animals camel yes in a zoo we see these animals in a zoo children have you ever visited a zoo yes you must have visited a zoo children now tell me what is a zoo zoo is a place where different types of animals are kept children love to go to the zoo isn't it but children when we go to the zoo we should be very careful about our behavior towards the animals this poem zoo manners based on the theme good manners in the zoo manners means behaviors and zoo is a place where different types of animals are kept chudiya ghar manners means dusron se vyavhar karne ka tarika the way that somebody behaves towards the towards other people zoo means chudiya ghar manners means dusron se vyavhar karne ka tarika children this is our poem zoo manners first of all i will recite the poem are you ready to listen okay let's start be careful what you say or do when you visit the animals at the zoo don't make fun of the camel's hump he is very proud of his noble bump don't laugh too much at the chimpanzee he thinks he is as wise as you or me and the penguins strutting around the lake can understand remarks you make treat them as well as they do you and you will always be welcome at the zoo children one more time be careful what you say or do when you visit the animals at the zoo don't make fun of the camel's hump he is very proud of his noble bum don't laugh too much at the chimpanzee he thinks he is as wise as you or me and the penguins strutting around the lake can understand remarks you make treat them as well as they do you and you will always be welcome at the zoo summary of the poem children this poem is written by elin mathias and this poem is based on the theme good manners in the zoo and kindness towards the animals the poet talks about camel proud chimpanzee wiseness 
and penguins smartness children we should be very careful when we visit the zoo we should not make fun of the animals and treat them with respect children whenever we are going to zoo they entertain us with their actions and with their behavior so it's our duty children that we should always also pay equal respect and treat them in the same manner as they do with us so this was our poem children new words we will do some new words of the poem let's start proud p r o u d proud feeling self respect or pleasure in something i am sentence i am proud of my country noble n o b l e noble someone with a very good character sentence mother teresa was a noble lady wise w i s e wise someone who has a good experience and knowledge samrat ashoka was a wise king penguins a large sea bird with wings for swimming under water p e n g u i n s penguins she was dancing like a penguin a strutting s t r u t t i n g a strutting to walk with a proud sentence he was a strutting after he won the music competition remarks r e m a r k s remarks to say something as a comment sentence my teacher's remark made me feel good children you will memorize these new words with correct spelling bachcho aap is new words ko correct spelling ke sath yaad karenge okay now let us find out rhyming words from the poem rhyming words which word would rhyme with bump yes hump do zoo lake make okay these are rhyming words children will you help me find the answers reading is fun question number 1 What do you see at the zoo? Churiya ghar mein aap kya dekhte hain? Answer. We see animals at the zoo. Hum churiya ghar mein janwaron ko dekhte hain. Question 2. What does the camel have on its back? Camel. Oot ke peet par kya hota hai? The camel has a hump on its back. कैमल के पीठ पर हम्प होता है जिसमें वो अपना पानी स्टोर करता है ओके लेट्स टॉक हैव यू बीन टू अ जू आंसर यस आई हैव बीन टू अ जू नेम एनिमल्स विच यू हैव सीन इन अ जू say the names in your own language and then in english answer i have seen tiger lion monkey giraffe elephant etc at the zoo bag sher bandar giraffe ityadi name the animal you like the most why answer I liked monkey the most because it can act exactly like me. 
Did you feed any animals at the zoo? Yes, I fed the monkeys at the zoo. Should we tease animals? No, we should not tease animals. Say aloud. Page number 75. B-U-M-P bump. H-U-M-P hump. D-U-M-P dump. Bump, hump, dump. Crowd, crow, cloud, cloud. Noise, prize, size, pies, flies. Okay? Composition corner. Look at the picture and fill in the blanks. Look at this picture and fill in the blanks. Some words are given. Lines, flowers, buzzed, to, be, buzzed. This is a bee. It has lines. On its wings, it has two antennas. It buzzes round the flowers. It buzzed and buzzed and came to the zoo. This is a bee. It has lines on its wings. It has two antennas. It buzzes round the flowers. It buzzed and buzzed and came to the zoo. A visit to my village. Let's go to the village children. You can Fill in the blanks with the help of picture clues. Okay? So, first, see the pictures. So, watch carefully and try to fill up. This is the picture of village, grandmother, horses, cat, kittens, Dogs, hen, cock, cow, male, hay, and pond. Okay. In June, we went to a village where my grandmother lives. She has a farm. On her farm, there are many animals. There are two horses, a cat with its kittens, three dogs, one hen as well as a cock and a cow. Every morning she feeds her animals with hay. Or milk. They drink water from a pond on the farm. In the in June we went to a village where grandmother lives. She has a farm. On her farm there are many animals. There are two horses, a cat with its kitten, three dogs, one hen as well as a cock and a cow. Every morning she feeds her animals with hay or milk. They drink water 
from a pond on the farm let's do help the bee to reach its home what are the things that it met on the way that rhyme with b children name the things that came along the way p tree k t these words rhyme with the word b okay look at the pictures and fill in the blanks lion wolf jackal monkey chimpanzee tiger deer owl bear and giraffe okay l i o n l i o n lion w o l f wolf sorry wolf j a c k l jackal m o n k e y monkey c h i m p a n z e e e chimpanzee giraffe t i g e r tiger deer owl bear animals sound different animals make different sounds let's find out let's make the noises that animals make roar like a lion neigh like a horse quack like a duck bleat like a goat bark like a dog moo like a cow chirp like a sparrow chatter like a monkey hiss like a snake how does a lion make a sound roar neigh like a horse quack like a duck bleat like a goat grunt like a pig moo like a cow hiss like a snake chatter like a monkey now let's practice handwriting children do as directed put your place your pencil over the given words and try to write in cursive o w n on o w n on on c o m e cum h o u s e house like this okay children that's all for today bye Thank you